Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday. Uh, it's great to be with you today. I pray you had a great day yesterday. Uh, God is with us uh, every day. He'll, he'll see us through. Um, we started this week uh, with a psalmist, I think it was Psalm 77, and, and uh, we kind of stepped through the psalm with him. Uh, he's crying out to God, and it's been a long, long time, and he's saying, God, are you there? Uh, and of course, God is there, right, even if he didn't feel it. And so, so his response was, even though it feels like he's not there for me, I know he is, and so I'm going to remember uh, all of the, the great things he has done for his people. Uh, and, and so we're going to look at, at another one of those stories, another one of those episodes of God being there for his people that he may have remembered, okay? Uh, and this uh, takes place uh, in 1 Kings, uh, and the, the prophet Elijah uh, is, is living through a drought, uh, and there's, no, there's not much to eat or to drink, and the Lord sends him uh, to a town called Zarephath, and he says, you, I want you to go to this widow, uh, and I want you to, to ask her uh, to give you food and drink to sustain you through this time. Uh, and so he does that. And it says here, uh, he comes to the widow and he says, would you bring me a little water in a jar so I may have a drink? And remember, this is the drought time. There was very little water, right? And very little food. As she was going to get it, he called and bring me, please, a piece of bread. So a little piece of bread that you made and, and some drink to sustain him, right? And this is what she answered him. As surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied, I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I am gathering a few six, I'm sorry, a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself and my son that we may eat it and die. We're at the end of my rope. You're asking me to give you a little bread. Um, give you water. I was going to go home and make this little bit. We we're going to eat this, and I had nothing left, no hope for tomorrow, no hope to sustain me, uh, and we, we were just going to die. And this is what Elijah said to her. Don't be afraid. Kind of reminds you of Jesus. That was what he said every time he appeared to people after his resurrection. Don't, don't be afraid. Why? Because the living God is with you, right? Don't be afraid. Go home and do as I have said, so trust me. Go home and do as I have said, but first make a small cake of bread for me uh, from what you have and bring it to me, and then make something for yourself and your son. So he's saying, first make it for me. Now she said, I don't have that. I've only got enough to make one. And you want, and he says, no, first make it for me. Trust me, believe in me. I am, I am the presence of God here. I'm the, I'm the prophet of God here. Trust my words, the very words of God. And then he goes on and he says this, for this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. The jar of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord gives rain on the land. And that's what happened. Day after day, there was just enough for her to feed herself, her son, and the prophet. Day after day after day after day, the Lord, the Lord sustained them. Now, I have a question for you. Do you think that maybe uh, sometimes she wanted a little more? I mean, not, not so much to get full, uh, but just because she, she wanted to be sure? you think she had that temptation sometimes? <laughs> you think it was hard to trust that the Lord would sustain her for this day and for the next day and for the next day, but one day at a time? But God would get her through, even though she may have wanted more of this or that or the other, God would get her through? It's kind of like Jesus when he taught us to pray, uh, give us this day our daily bread. This day our daily bread, one day at a time. Do you think God will get you through today? No matter what the situation? Do you think he is enough to bring you through right now as you follow him? That's what a disciple does, right? Simply follows Jesus knowing that he's with us. Do you think as you follow him, looking to love those around you in his name, uh, that he will sustain you through this time, through this difficult time, whatever it might look like for you? Do you think he'll sustain you just for today? Can you do that without worrying about tomorrow? I know it's been a long time, uh, and, and, and it seems like every day is long, but God is here with you. He will sustain you. You know, as I thought about uh, this devotional, um, 
this time with you, I, I thought about a, a certain teaching that says that, that God not only created the heavens and the earth, but he's the one that holds them together and sustains them uh, day after day and year after year. He not only commanded uh, that uh, the, the plants and animals reproduce, uh, he continually creates them so that they do reproduce. It's called the continuing creation. God, God does this. He, he, he sustains all things and he renews all things. Do you think he'll do that with you? Every day, you think he loves you that much? If you ever doubt that, take a look at the cross, the nails in the hands, the crown of thorns on the head, the great suffering Jesus went through as he, as he took the punishment for our sins. And if you ever doubt that he's strong enough to do that, look at the empty tomb. Right? God sustains us day by day. We follow him. We trust him uh, as, as his disciples. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for these great stories. These stories that uh, show us you're with us in difficult times and that this story that you show us you will sustain us uh, moment by moment and day by day. You, day. Day by day, you will be enough for us. We praise your name for this insight. We, Lord, Lord, we ask for your spirit and extra measures that every single day we might live in uh, trusting you in this reality uh, and hearing your words uh, and, and, and guiding us to love in your name as those who know they are held in your hands and sustained in your hands every day. We praise your name and we thank you. Amen. It's great to be with you today. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow yet. Bye-bye.